hey guys, I've been doing the predictions for this year's exam papers and now I've noticed a few strange things coming up. I've seen a few odd trends in the exam papers and I just wanted to share them with you just so that you're really, really prepared for what comes up. Now the first thing you need to know is that the grade boundaries are going up. Every single year they are going up and up and up and up. For example, in one paper, in 2013, you needed to get 39 out of 60 to get an A star. 2014, you needed to get 47 out of 50 to get an A star. A big jump there. 2015, this went up even further and you had to get 50 out of 60 to get an A star. Now, 2016 is going to go up again. It is. There's nothing I can do about that. And the unfortunate thing for you is that it means you need to work even harder to get that A star. And you need to work like 10, 20% harder to get an A star than the people who got A stars in 2013. And it's so unfair. I'm really, really sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. The second trend that I've noticed is a trend towards longer questions. Now every single paper is gonna have a six mark question on there, but a few of them have started including four mark questions and then even five mark questions. These aren't gonna have the same quality of written communication marks, but they are still long questions, so you do need to be aware of how you're structuring them. You need to practice them. You need to know the difference between how to write a describe, explain, and an evaluate question. This is really, really important that you have this skill in the bag. With the new exam specification coming out soon, some of the exam papers are changing to reflect that, and there are a lot more practical questions coming up in the paper. So you really, really need to know how to work out your mean, spot, anomalies, you need to be able to uh, see trends and patterns in data, you need to be able to draw graphs, you need to be able to describe how to do an experiment. Now this is a really, really hard skill if you haven't seen the experiments, so I have loads and loads of videos to help you out with this. And the examiners, in the reports that they write afterwards, have made lots of comments about students couldn't do this question because they hadn't seen the practical. So it's really, really important you try and get as much practical practice as you can. The ISA playlist, the control assessment play preparation playlist, were really, really good for this. There's been a bit of a shift towards some harder maths coming up in the paper. Now, previously with balancing equations in, you know, the C1 paper, the answer was two. It, it was just two all the time. It's not so anymore. The math is getting that a little bit harder. They're making the papers harder. And with increasing the grade boundaries, that they're, they're really trying to see who deserves those top grades. Again, it just means you have to work a bit harder than people did a few years ago. And I'm really sorry about that, guys, but that's all what the examiners have done to us this year. The last trend that I'm seeing is a lot more ethical issues coming up. There are a lot more questions about society, about social things, how would this affect this group of people, is this an ethical issue or an economic issue or um, a something else issue. You need really, really think about how will an issue affect people, how will it affect jobs, how will it affect the community or the animals that are involved. I've seen a lot of trends towards that. Okay, so we have a lot of work to do, but together we can do this. And I've seen how hard you guys have been working recently, and I'm really, really proud of you for this. So the trends that I've seen are high grade boundaries, longer questions, harder maths, more practical questions, and the inclusion of a lot more ethical issues. Um, I hope that those um, trends are really, really useful for you. I've got all of my predictions for 2016 coming up soon, so subscribe so you don't miss any of those, and let's see if we can't do really, really well in these exams. Well done, guys.